Hello once again, welcome to Safe Time Online YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at uh, the response to a fire alarm. Whenever there is any fire alarm which has been activated in the workplace or within the building, you should always uh, follow this working procedure. Whenever you hear any fire alarm which has been activated, and it is a real fire because most of the fire alarms, whenever there are false alarms, they will be immediately silenced and action will be taken. But if there is a real fire, the alarms or the alarm, the fire alarm will be left to announce for evacuation. So the first thing that you need to do is you evacuate the building by the means of the nearest exit whenever there is any exit that you will be safe you should immediately evacuate from that area number two do not take any personal belongings you cannot you it is not recommended to carry your bags you carry your laptop you carry your belongings because you can recover all these things but you can never recover your life so your life is very much important so in case of fire alarm in case there is any fire alarm and it is a real fire where it announces evacuation you are not supposed to carry any personal belonging number three do not use the lift or elevator may automatically shut down and this is automatically set so most of the elevators are set where there is if there is any fire alarm the elevators always shut down and they come to stay stationary at the ground floor so do not use the elevators someone might ask why the elevators are not supposed to be used during fire remember during fire the fire can affect the electricity uh, uh, connectivity maybe where the fire has started it is the source of electricity so if you are using the elevator and the source of power has been distracted by the fire. It means the elevator will shut down in within the shaft and you will be left stuck inside. So by the time, by the time people realize that someone is there, then it might even take time because people have to evacuate all the, the safety uh, merchant or the safety officer will have to evacuate all the people within the building and start identify who is absent and the, it can even involve checking through the camera who has been left where and this might take time do not use the elevator during a fire emergency or whenever you hear any fire alarm avoid using the elevators or the lift and lastly go to your nominated assembly area and wait for that direction so the assembly areas should always be clear and should be stated that this is the direction for the assembly area and if there is any a safety officer or any security uh, personnel within the a building they should always direct the people to the right assembly area so assembly place is where people gather together whenever there is any kind of emergency it can be fire emergency it can be natural disasters or any kind of emergency people meet at the assembly point and there will be some announcement or some information which will be passed and that is where the identification of all the people that are found within the organization will be made and those people who are absent will be looked at so that to ensure everyone is safe thank you very much kindly follow those procedures to protect yourself and your family make sure you do not another point do not go back where there is a fire emergency if there is a fire emergency and maybe you have already come outside do not attempt to go back to the house or go back to the apartment in a way to save some of your properties or some of your even your people let the fire merchant or the fire respond team go and try to risk your people don't go back because you might even lose your life thank you so much for watching continue benefiting from safe time online tv youtube channel 
This is the only platform for health and safety and environmental knowledge. Let's meet in the next video.